My name is George O'Connor, and you're watching Sport and Icons. Hi, right, Georgia. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Matt. So you've been uh, up here in uh, uh, Newcastle doing some uh, pad work and whatever with uh, your new trainer manager, Mark Lazell. How was that? Um, very happy to be here. Start as Mark's a great guy. Um, get on really well already, and I've got a really good feeling about my, my new uh, my new journey. Yeah. Um, it'll be a good one, I think. You look like that. Uh, you're enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's important, like obviously, to train hard. But if you can have a laugh and be happy whilst you're doing it, it makes it uh, makes it all the better, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah, just getting my fitness back, getting the feel back for the sport, and just uh, like I say, Jeremy with Mark as my new, new trainer and manager. Yeah. What do you think? Think of the trip because you're from Durham, aren't you? I'm from Durham. Yeah. It's only like 20 minutes from my house. Yeah. Like, I kind of live on the like west of Durham. Um, Depends how fast you go in the car, like how long it takes to get here, but it takes about 20 minutes, so it's a nice little drive up here. That is true. That is true. So what was your decision to uh, turn pro now then when, because you're only 21 years old, you could have hung around for like another four years because I heard yeah. that uh, GB were looking at you to go to the Olympics in uh, 2024. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, I've never really been in boxing for the money or anything like that. I've always done it because I enjoyed it. My dad got me into fighting sports from a young age because he wanted me to look after myself. I never imagined doing a half of what I've done, this is all just a huge bonus. But, um, obviously I was training at GB and stuff and it was good at the time, you know, I'm forever grateful, the memories I had, the things I won and travelling the world, it's, it's what I envisioned and I achieved it. So I think now I, I'm not sure I want to be waiting around like four years, eight years, something that may not happen. And um, like my main goal was never that like, I want to win this title, I want to win that medal, I want to be this and that. I just like the main thing for me is I want to inspire people and be happy and make others happy. So I think turning professional is going to allow me to do that on a bigger stage. Mm. If people like can see my story and be inspired. If one, if one girl like sees my story and thinks I can do that, then my life's worth living, you know. What's been because recently you had a health scare as well, didn't you? Yeah, I had a bilateral pulmonary embolism. Um, which means I had like not one blood clot but two. I don't do things by half. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, nearly died, man. Been in hospital with it and stuff, but I just recently got the all clear a couple of weeks ago. So starting my training again, and I think that as well made me realise like life's precious, isn't it? We only get one shot at it. So yeah, 21 years old, I'm still young, but I've got my health, and I think like thanks God I'm still here, and I think I've got my health. I've got everything I need. My parents, my family. Um, Obviously, Mark, I've got everyone I need to, to yeah. do what I need to do. So, yeah. well, I thought your message on Instagram was uh, very, very powerful. We were saying that uh, you didn't do it for any kind of sympathy or anything like that. You were doing it in case other people were feeling the same kind of symptoms that you were, like a pains and oh, uh, things like that. Uh, similar to what I'm saying about, like, hopefully I can inspire others. If one person's inspired, I think if one person sees that post and recognises the signs and can save the family member, then, you know, like, that's my doing. Like I just want to spread positivity in the world. I don't want to be someone because there's too much hate, isn't there, in, yeah. in the world? It's it's not really a nice place in particular. I want to like just make sure I can do my bit, spread positivity, spread happiness, and make others happy and be happy myself. That's the main thing, isn't it? Of course. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So I've got your record here, yeah. by the way, your amateur record, and it's phenomenal. I mean, I mean. You're 21 years old, but you did all this before you were 20, really, because obviously you've been out for like a like the best part of a year, yeah. haven't you? And like, like a real quick, so uh, you were uh, one of the youngest in history to get onto the GB team at age 16. You were selected for the England team at age 14 after just three bouts. Uh, you're four-time national amateur champion, Great Britain Tri-Nations gold medalist, Commonwealth Youth gold medalist, which uh, you're the first ever female in history to win it at 75 kilos. Yeah. Well, uh, youth. World Championship silver medalist and bronze, and in fact you're the only boxer in history from England to get two medals. So. The youth World Championship, yeah, it's the only one for, for two medals. Because the way that worked, there was like a championship in 2017 and then yeah. 2018, which was really rare. So I remember like when I was born, I was like, oh, I need to win, I need, I need a medal at least, I need to, like, you know, I want to have, have two. Yeah. So, yeah. But I mean, the list goes on as well. Um, all of like a, all, all other kind of like a, a youth achievements, uh, you were undefeated kickboxing and Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah. And all that as well. 21 years old, so I mean, you like fighting then quite clearly. Yeah, of course. It's um, all these experiences I'm eternally grateful for. It's made me like, not a bit cringy to say, but it's made me the woman I am today. And yeah. I wouldn't be here starting this new chapter of my life if it wasn't for those experiences. So um, yeah, I'm just really, really grateful that I got to do all that. 
and yeah. then just kind of make a name for myself, really. So what about like a, like a going forward? Do you have like a, some kind of uh, long-term goal or is it each day as it comes right now for like a um, progression in, in like, the uh, profession it's, game? It's, it's safe to say every boxer dreams of becoming a world champion, don't they? Yeah. So obviously one day that would be absolutely phenomenal to, to be able to call myself a world champion. But like I said to you before, my main goal is never, I want to be this, I want to be that. Like, I want to enjoy myself have fun, inspire others, and what's meant to happen will happen. Like I believe that our lives have already been written, so I'm not going to stress and worry about anything because what's meant to be will be. I'm a big believer in that. So. I mean, going on, going on your achievements already. I mean, it looks like you're okay to be fast tracked if necessary. Yeah, it's, um, just whatever Mark says. You know, I'm just going to listen to him. Um, I've always been brought up to like listen to listen to my coaches, listen to my parents. So yeah. Um, I believe I'm in good hands and I think as long as I listen, train hard, work hard, um, I think I'll be okay and I'm going to enjoy it. That's the thing, because uh, even though that's, uh, this was your first proper session in quite a while, wasn't it? Yeah. And of course it was tiring, but you were still enjoying it, you were still smiling. Oh, of course, even being out with illness and like, because of the whole COVID thing. Like, yeah. I think once you, take, like, once you put the gloves on, they never really come off, do they? So like, yeah. uh, it's nice to just get back into a gym and Get, get the feel for the sport back, you know, like once you start punching, it's like, like you, you don't realise how much you miss it until you go back to it after a long time, and yeah. it's like that love-hate relationship, it's like when you're doing it sometimes, it's like, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, but then <laughs> when the hardware pays off, you remember like why you, why you do it, what you do it for. Are you looking forward to your first bar? Oh, absolutely, yeah. As a professional? I'm a bit nervous, like, a bit really? nervous, I haven't in ages, but um, yeah. it's the most important part of the training, I believe, so yeah, yeah. definitely looking forward to getting my fitness back, getting back sparring, and um, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. And uh, what does it mean to you to be representing the North East, and like a Durham in, um, in particular? Oh, a lot. I think, um, like, Certain areas of Durham, Newcastle, it's not a lot like before. I know I'm not a kid, so to speak, I'm 21. I know I look about 14. But, um, there's not a lot of things to do, but I think it, like, it's, it's nice to be able to make kids realise if they put their mind to something, you can achieve anything. It doesn't matter where you come from, you know. Like, yeah. People might say stuff all you know, face, this and that, but I think it's important. Like, no matter where you come from, if you've got a work ethic and passion, if you're passionate about something, you'll, you'll succeed and you'll thrive. If you enjoy it as well, that's a massive bonus, isn't it? Yeah, so it means a lot to me to be able to uh, represent the North East and uh, Durham. That's it. So do you look to, say, other fighters from the North East, like uh, women, uh, Savannah Marshall, April Hunter, um, uh, Jordan Barker Porter and others like that, do you look at them as some kind of inspiration as well? Oh, absolutely. It's, um, Women's boxing in general is taken off, hasn't it? Like, um, and I think the likes of these girls, they're not just making a name for women's boxing, but for boxing in general. I think, you know, um, people might look at them and think, oh, she's a good fighter, not oh, she's all right for a girl. It's like, she's, right. she's a good boxer, you know, that's the main thing, I think. Um, making people realise, like, the gender stereotypes are no more, like, women can fight, we, we can, you know, just do, just as good as blokes, I think. <laughs> well, if you look back over, Especially like during like fight camp and a lot of the box behind closed doors here in the UK, some of the fights of the year are women. Oh, of course, it's, um, it's taken off, isn't it? Recently, I think since um, like since Nicola won the Olympics in 2012 and 2016, yeah. it's just like shot up. I think it was not allowed in the Olympics just 10 years ago. Yeah. The profile it's getting now, it's crazy how much it's uh, how much it's came on. But it's, it's nice, isn't it? I think to yeah. give women the same opportunities and stuff like. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's nice to see it all taken off. You are right though, I think that uh, now is a time where people are starting to watch you girls fight and kind of forget that you girls. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter that you're a girl, they just enjoy the fight. Yeah. And, and, and it does seem to be that it's uh, the women's fights people are talking about after the event. Yeah, it's, um, it's important I think. I think it um, brings women a sense of achievement, not to be known as a good female boxer. Like I said before, she's good for a girl, she can fight all right for a girl. <laughs> Wow, she can fight, you know, like full stop, that's it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, boxing is boxing, it's still, it's still someone trying to take your head off in the ring, you know, <laughs> whether you're a man or a woman, it's the, it's the principle's true. the same, isn't it? So how do you describe your style then? Um, are you aggressive or are you tactical? Or? I like to mix it up a bit. Like when I was an amateur, it depended on who I was boxing. Like a lot of the times, I was quite tall for my weight, so 
a lot of the time I would get like a stocky like Russian Ukrainian so I would be forced to be like elusive and sort of tactical and like a game of chess yeah. but then sometimes you know I like to be aggressive like front foot like even front foot counter punch punching I just, I just like to mix it up I think um, if I have a little toolbox and I take different tools <laughs> and like, I can get them out when, when needs to be you know so, yeah, it's just like a mix I think yeah so basically you were just on the night as well you were just on the night what's that sorry you were just on the night so like uh, I know you could be fighting thinking uh, you know what I'm gonna be like a little bit tactical here but if you need to switch it you'll switch it on oh, the night of course yeah I think um, it's important for every fighter to be able to like really fight themselves like you've got your coaches and the people that train you and bring you on but um, it's you in the ring isn't it you've got to know yeah. yourself what's worth and what's not so it's true yeah hopefully I can um, just carry that on from the amateurs in the pros now and yeah so when you're hoping to make your pro debut before the end of the year? It would be nice, like it would be really nice. Depends with COVID and stuff and when what Mark thinks obviously I'm gonna to listen to him and take his yeah. advice on board. So um, I really have no idea but it would be really nice like back end of the year. But I'm I'm in no rush, you know, I'm still young, so just gotta be sensible, listen to Mark, listen to my dad, listen to my you know, those who have been looking after me. So yeah, I'm in no rush, I'm just gonna Enjoy it, enjoy the training, enjoy getting back fit. It's all part of the process, isn't it? So, have you met your stable mates yet? Stephen Robinson and uh, Bazzi Rosario? Yeah, lovely guys, lovely yeah. guys. Um, get on with them really well, so yeah, yeah. I'm sure I have no problems here. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, Steve will have you in there sparring him at some point. Oh, I'll need a step ladder there. <laughs> Six foot seven, you'll be fine. Huge. <laughs> you'll be fine. All right, and Georgia, I appreciate that. and. Uh, I mean, I'll be a regular in here anyway, so keep keep everybody updated as to what's happening going forward. We'll be speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.